The live commentary may not abide to this rating. Viewer discretion is advised. This Let's Play of Kirby's Adventure is dedicated to Grant Thompson, aka the King of Random. I don't know about you, but I'm thinking actually start actually using my uh, uh, laptop to make my videos. Greetings, gamer girls. I am Sal Stain, also known as Cold Clucks, and then I welcome back Mark Kirby's adventure. In the last episode, we took down the Yogurt Yard, and in this episode, we're going to be taking on the Orange Ocean. So, we've got Vegetable Valley, um, Ice Cream Island, Grape Garden, or actually Butter Building. Grape Garden, Yogurt Yard, now Orange Ocean. I'm still not seeing a connection here, but whatever. Let's head it. Let's head into here, and we're actually swimming in orange. Wow, that's a great start. Um, we're swimming in orange juice. I take it, and damn NES graphics make it look like these things are are solid walls. See what we got in here. Uh, this thing. What does this guy give you again? I don't even remember, and I don't really think I care. Uh, why do I, wait? What do I mean? What do I mean? I don't think I care. It's either I do care or I, or I don't care. Okay, so I guess I don't care. I grow I hate these things. Or Gordo. Excuse me. Oh, okay, one up, no strings attached. Well, I guess a few blocks attached, but whatever. And I was going to go for the spark, but, I, but I'd rather have... Oh, I barely got it. <laughs> what was the next one? Alright, what's in this one? You got Maxim Tomato and a one up. Oh yeah, I forgot Kirby can do that. <laughs> Something's telling me I need the hammer to get through that, though. Oh well. Alright, Kirby's flying ability just... Okay, I was about to say breaks this, but apparently it doesn't. Jeez, the slowdown is real. I... Ooh. All right, I missed that whatever it was. And between cuts, I, 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 I officially decided that I am downgrading my laptop from Windows 10 to Windows 7, and I'm, and I'm going to, and uh, I don't know. Whatever, uh, using the hammer will allow us to uh, break through these, so we can hit through here and hit that switch. Alright. Actually, something I learned is that you don't even need to, uh, you don't even need to, uh, complete the stage. Something I didn't actually know until recently is that you can just, uh, exit the stage, you don't even have to complete it, and it'll still count. I'm just kind of used to doing it, because that's, um, how it is in, um, a lot of Super Mario games, so I guess that, so I guess my Kirby, my Super Mario knowledge in, 
infused with my Kirby knowledge. Okay, here we go, stage two. Alright. Alright, that guy was in a really awkward place. Alright, oh, ah, we didn't really need it anyway. Oh, well, well now we need it. Oh, uh, those are barriers. I, no, I, I, crap, I had a feeling that would happen. Get that, are you serious? Okay. All right, oh well, yeah, the parasol at the very least. Alright, let's see what's in here. Or, we could jump in there. After I just lost the freaking hammer. Alright. Actually, come to think of it, we'll just finish the stage, and if that, and if that, uh, and if it says, wait, and if it's, and if the, if the door is white, is white when we come out, I'll just, I, I'll just completely ignore it. Oh, uh, all right, mm, I love these flowers. All right, I got more of these blue guys, those blue guys, that blue guy's cronies. Kirby, why can't you just hide under the parasol to evade enemy attacks like you can, like Peach can Super Paper Mario? Why am I why am I talking about other games so much in this list? But why can't I talk about Kirby's Adventure? You've got to be crapping me. Okay, why well, didn't check that check out this part this place? The wheel. I don't even care about it. All right, I'll be right back. I gotta get the, I gotta get the hammer all over again. And you know, before we do, actually, I wanna go in here. I'm gonna freaking, I'm gonna freaking, uh, I'm gonna freaking beat this for the life of me. I swear. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, come on. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I hit it too soon. Wait, one, two, three, four, five. Damn. No, don't, no! Don't lose it again. Okay, whew. Thank goodness it overwrites the crash. I'm gonna wipe that thing to shoot. 
Or maybe it only shoots when I'm in front of it. Alright, let's hurry up and hit that. There. But just didn't lose the freaking hammer, I would have had it. Alright, so... Right is always right. Oh, it just takes us back here. Okay, where does the other place take us? Come on! Ugh. I think you can alternatively use the stone to uh, hit that, but I don't have the stone, so... We're just gonna head through here. Oh, we got another chance to get the hammer, though. Or we can just skip it. Actually, you know what? No, I'm gonna use this opportunity. Wait a minute. Alright. Can we bust through any of these? Oh, can bust through this. Which takes us to... Here. And here is... Boy, are you kidding me? That's it? Wait a minute. Where's that going? Oh, we're in water. Okay. I'm not exactly sure what that did, but... Wait a minute. Did I come from, come from that? Or yeah, I came from that. All right, we're on a we're on a ship that's on the orange ocean. What's in here? Nothing. Maybe like Donkey Kong and just pick out. Whoa. Uh, And surprisingly, these things are not barriers, despite what the last le level would have led you to believe. So we got two doorways here. Where do they lead to? Ah. One that leads in there. It leads to an enemy, and here leads to... Hey, what? Wait, what? Whoa! Uh... Uh, I wouldn't know how you get to that. Let me try going through here and then try smashing one of the walls. Uh, come on, hit it, 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 hit it. Where is it? Oh, it disappeared. Okay. Eh, no, no clue. I have no clue. Say that again. I have no clue. There's your hint. Now, I can presume this is the way you're supposed to go. We have a ladder here. And that that brings us in here, which is the way you're supposed to go. Ugh. Man, there's no rules with any with Kirby. Same freaking Waldy.
Alright. Abandon now it's a band ship. Head up this head up Oh, over to the island. Thankfully Kirby can swim. Or he can just float on the water if he wants to. Uh, I'm afraid to touch that thing, so I'm not going to. Okay, I guess I just gotta go over it. I love the sunset in the background. And we missed something, and I have a pretty good idea what it is. No, I'm not even going to bother fighting that guy. Oh, what? Don't you dare tell me I have to fight him. I have to fight him. Alright, you know what? Hammer against hammer match. No, give me that back. Hammer hammer against hammer. Hammer hammer match. Okay, maybe okay, maybe the hammer can just wait! Dang. Not, I'm not even going to bother cutting. As long as I have the hammer in nubbly, I'm happy. Why do they always trick me? Oh. Okay. You have to somehow get in there? Alright guys, once you actually see what you're supposed to do, I don't think you guys can really blame me for not remembering. Because I actually have only... I actually only did... Didn't really... Some of these, some of these games I don't really... I don't really play too far in. I just kind of... Uh, I just kind of... I just kind of play it and just kind of memorize like how to do it. But the... And, and then I do the Let's Play on it. Kirby's Adventure I only did one full playthrough on, and also did a, like, a half playthrough when I was young, because, you know, I kind of, because I got stuck on, uh, Mr. Shine and Mr. Bright. But, um, where did this guy? There is, right here, a doorway. Yeah, your indication to how, why that's there, I have no idea. But you know what else? You know what else? I don't know. You have even less indication that there's a doorway here as well. In which there's a... Damn it! Ugh. Okay, we gotta get rid of the hammer for this. Oh, that was close. Heading here. We wanna grab the laser. And I don't know how you're supposed to get that one up, but head here, I think going through there will just take you back. Here's that cannon area with a fire enemy. Um, but something that is not made explicitly clear is that you, um, you can actually use the laser to, uh, light the cannon. I guess it's fire-based? I don't know. And all it did was give us a stupid crane game. Where does this take us? Oh, it takes us here. Okay. Get out of there. And let's try crane fever. And... Alright, for you people, I'll show you what it's like to get the small one at least once. What? Am I really gonna fail at getting the small one? 
Yes, I am. That was a bit of precision. I failed at getting the small one twice, and I've never failed at getting the big one. Well, I think I think I failed that once, but I've at least won something. Whatever. Let's head in here. See what's down here. You know what? I want to see if there's anything under these uh, blocks right here. It seems like a pretty feasible place where they'd hide something. Nope, nothing. Wow. Um. Uh, is this the way you're supposed to go? Let's see. Uh, I guess it's not. Alright, oh. Well, going down there get you, get you, gets you a one-up. But... Oh. No, we need the hammer to get through that. So... Oh, it seems like there's a couple ways you can go in here. Oh, there's three up down there. Let's see what we can get if we go over here. <laughs> the screen, yeah, the green water or green looking water, kind of reminds me of when I was uh, reminds me of my first job. It was actually the first day at my first job, and I was getting a drink. I was I was getting some root beer, which is my second favorite soda. I don't know why, or maybe it was just my weird eyes and the lighting, but I think I remember the root beer being green at that time. I guess it's not coming back. Oh, yeah, I just went off screen and disappeared. What the? Okay. Whoa, Gordo. Hey. Hey. Oh, okay. That thing's as good as gone. And there's nothing in here. Alright, give me you. Alright, and some parasols. Why do I get the feeling that's of so significance? Oh, I thought I had the laser still. <laughs> Alright, I guess we're going up. Oh, it's, it's that thing where you gotta dodge the uh, uh, falling coconuts, which unfortunately I'm not doing a very good job of. Sound kind of sounds like uh, kind of sounds like um, an Atari 2600 sound effect. Boom! Uh, 
Ugh, of course there's another thing there. Okay. Now in the now in the orange ocean they're starting they're starting to put the they're starting to put the now in the orange ocean they're starting to put they're starting to put put the uh they're starting to put the secrets in places where you wouldn't think a secret a secret would be, as in invisible doorways. Which, okay, I'm gonna get that. I kind of need it. Or, you know what? No. God, it's like the freaking Mega Man NES games. Just so much lag. Which I really gotta play Mega Man 4. Alright, and you know what? I wanna see what's over here, so I'm gonna see what's over here. Oh, it didn't even matter anyway. And it really didn't matter anyway. Alright, it's right here you gotta go. From here on out, I'm gonna start art looking in play looking in places uh where a secret norm normally probably wouldn't be. So, um see if I can do the eye catcher this time. area. Once again, smoothest animation in this game. Although... Oh, I love this song. This is one of my favorite songs in this game. This is actually... If you guys remember when we played, a. Uh, Oh shoot, Super Mario and Luigi Star Road, they, uh, uh, Course 6 was actually, um, uh, this music, and I'm actually gonna grab that laser, it's because it's a green laser, and I like green. Whoa, a mix. If, I think I might just let this go, oh, I was, I thought it would always be the hammer, I guess not. Slim Kirby, you deceived me. I lost my one coin! Okay, I just had to reference that. Je Jeez. I, okay, fine. Okay, seriously, how does a freaking apple hurt? I'm amazing. Alright, you know what? I'm just gonna float up and pretend there's nothing up there. Anytime I get interrupted now, I'm reminded of that time where I was interrupted by my, my stepmother during the seventh sanctuary in Earthbound. Yeah, yeah, if you can believe it, I'm still not over that. I'm gonna grab this crash, just... Camera, stop. I did not mean you... Whatever, let's just go in here. All right. How are these guys swinging their swords? Oh, I guess I can I can do that too. Alright, there's a secret here. There's a secret here. Okay, no, there's not. 
dump it camera. Jeez. You know, maybe I will just record these videos with my with my laptop. Only problem is I won't be able to look stuff up too easily with them. Is that, is that thing gonna come down here? Okay. There is a Waldy. Jeez. There is a. Okay. Good thing I went ahead, because uh, there is a cannon down here. Dude, if I lose this firepower, I'm gonna be so mad. Come on, get it. Get it. Get the... There. Alright, we gotta hurry up. Toe, I... Of course I missed. Of course. And there better not be... A, and there better not be a switch up there. Um, There's a switch up there. Where else would it be? At the time that you're seeing... Okay, that was close. At the time that you're seeing this, I actually have myself a new controller. It's a, it's a freaking falling camera. No, it's actually an authentic NES controller this time. Honestly, I'm really freaking glad to have it. Because I swear to God, that repro controller I was using, like... It was one of those things. It was one of those things where if you pressed like down on the deep on the center of the D-pad, it would basically throw. You press down on the whole D-pad, um, and and I swear to God that freaking pressing down on the D-pad has screwed me over so many times. I mean, I swear, I had more more trouble with that controller than I did with the freaking Master System controller. And that that controller doesn't even have a proper D-pad, seriously. Not that, not, not that the Master System was like a bad console or anything, it's just that. I will complain that the controller is really, really bad. Oh, not really bad, it could be worse. Okay, let's do this for real this time. No! I'm not gonna make it. Wow! That was pathetic! Hey, can I get up, please? Can I go back? Speaking of that, I kind of wish the Master System was... I kind of wish the Master System was a bit more appreciated and got more attention than it deserved. Because, you know, it was. It actually is more powerful than the NES in a lot of aspects. I mean, heck, you put it in from, you put the cartridges in from the top, you don't have to worry about the stupid console just rejecting it. No, it's really not that. Hmm. Really wish the Master, really wish the Master System was more understood and it didn't, and, uh, Got more, got the attention it deserved. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to divert this into a console war discussion, but it really is true. The Master System really does not get the, the attention it deserves. Alright, let's do this again. No, it's not doing it! Come on! You know what? I don't even care. I'm pretty sh Of course I died. Of course. 
I'm not even going to bother showing it because I think you guys get the picture of what's up there. Like, we know what's up there. So, I think I'm just going to continue on. And before you complain about me not getting 100%, I'll just copy my practice file over because I, I, don't, I really don't remember how I did it in that file. Oh! Give me that UFO. Give me the UFO. Yep, here we go. UFO! Sheesh, but there's UFOs everywhere. I love the sound the UFOs make. Shoot, no, get it back. It's kind of easy to lose it in this place, though, and I think there's actually a secret somewhere in here. Wait a minute. Is it down there? I think it might actually be down there. No, oh, well, I guess not. We're going to find out soon enough anyway. If there was a secret down there. Unless, can we go in the middle? No. Hey! I got two of these guys. Uh, it seems kind of redundant to fight these guys as a. <laughs> I get rid of this actually. We'll see what. Oh, light. Okay. I wish I didn't get rid of the UFO for that. I just wanted to see what it would have gotten me. Didn't really do much. I'm just, I, I'm just gonna fly over everything. I really don't see any reason to swim. Okay. You know what? No, it was a secret. Damn, look at those northern lights. Jeez, this game... This game really outdid itself. And then again, it was made in 1993. Oh, God. it's this guy again. I have a weird feeling we're going to be seeing him again pretty soon. Oh, yeah. We're fighting this guy with ice physics. Only thing I fear about this controller is that is um uh it's um the button pressing ability I guess. Does that make sense? Alright, let's eat that. And let's eat that. And that's the end. Ooh, that was a good shot. Alright, there's a switch in here, and to get to it, uh, you, you gotta go down here. Uh, the UFO would've made this a bit easier, but hitting the switch doesn't, oh. Oh wait, actually, I think you need the UFO in order to get it. Alright. Let's get our UFO. Or is it going to spawn? What's going on? It's not spawning. Oh, are you telling me I got to reset? Oh, are you telling me I got to reset the game to make it make it spawn again? 
Let's go up and just express, just appreciate these graphics real quick. Look at the Bolton Boralis or Boral, I guess, as I used to pronounce it. And that's actually um, that's actually what I named my uh, Aur Auroras in uh, Pokemon X. Uh, okay, UFO. Now let's not lose it. Let's get rid of this guy so he doesn't bother us. There we go. Just go down here. And you gotta charge it all the way up if you want to get rid of these blocks. Or I guess I suppose you could use a firepower if you have one. I don't know if it actually works. <laughs> I just love Kirby sitting on the UFO. And that gives us the uh, warp star. I don't. I don't know exactly what the uh, what the um, the other switch gives you. And I'm gonna actually go check before I forget. That other switch just gave you the uh, the uh, cowboy mini game. And I guess just because let's actually see what's up here because this actually is a branching path here we got the poppy bros not my dug trio but just these guys unfortunately i lost the ufo power up on the way here so i can't really can't really overpower these guys but i can't overpower them by doing this <laughs> it hits both of them at the same time wait a minute take that I would have been surprised if I didn't beat him. Hey, it's that guy again. For real, dude, whose side are you on? And this actually would be very overpowered with the, um... With the, uh... UFO, but... Oh well, we do not have it. So we're just hyper! <laughs> and I'm saving the... I, oh yeah, if we had the crash... If we had the... No! No! We do have the crash. If we had the UFO, we could have used it to get that. And honestly, I want to have the crash for this, I swear. And if this guy would get out of the way, please. Please. Thank you. Alright, let's see if this actually works. I'm not really sure if it will, but we can try. Oh, it did work. Okay. Now, wa now watch me. Now watch me die. After anyway. Oh. Nope. Okay. I guess we're just gonna be eating them. I'm kind of morbid. Grab him. Actually, having a UFO would be really useful here. Because we're just effectively... We don't really have to fight this guy again. I'm just kind of doing it just for kicks. Wait, can I just do this? Okay. Okay. Now we're gonna head in here. Or oh, we gotta get it. I feel like it's a reference or something. So we get this. Check it out! It's that guy again! Now! The okay, cheap shot. I call cheap shot. This guy, uh, you have to fight him using the sword. Um, as you know- oh. As you notice, um, getting hit does not cause you to lose the sword, thank goodness. But anyway, we begin fighting this guy. I think I mentioned somewhere in the LP that I would actually... Ow. Why can't I... Why is he not taking... Okay, I guess he was taking damage. Just... I guess while we're fighting this guy... Uh, can I please not be taking damage while we're fighting this guy? I think it might be an idea if I actually tell you guys his name. This guy's name, his name is Meta Knight. I... I'm not 100% sure exactly who he is or, like, what he's doing or entirely whose side he's on, but here he is fighting Kirby. 
My guess is that he, oh shoot. My guess is that he wor he um uh, works for his own side. Oh. And there we go. We've beaten him, and we broke his mask. Apparently, he was just another Kirby, except blue. Okay, no. Okay, I know it looked black, but it's an NES game, okay? If I would have known better, I would have guessed this was a Master System game due to all the colors. But anyways, in the next episode, we are going to be heading to the Rainbow Resort. I will see you guys next time on Kirby's Adventure. Okay, okay. Next time on Kirby's Adventure, we are going to go through the... Through the the rainbow resort and we are going to fit and we are going to uh well just beat it that's pretty much it okay see you guys then